Hello everyone, today I am here to explain you an activity based upon the trigonometry. The aim of the activity is to make a kalinometer and use it to measure the height of an object. Trigonometry is one of the most important branch of mathematics. It is used to measure the height of a tower or a big mountain, finding the distance between the two buildings. These are the some applications of trigonometry. To measure the height and distance of two different objects, we use trigonometric ratios. See in this picture, there is a guy looking at the top of the lamp post, in which AB is the horizontal level. This level is the line parallel to the ground passing through the observer's eye. AC is known as line of sight angle A in which angle A is called the angle of elevation. Similarly check this picture. In this PQ is the line of sight PR is an horizontal level and angle P is known as angle of depression. In this picture you can see there is an angle of elevation and an angle of depression. What is angle of elevation? The angle of elevation of a point on object above horizontal level viewing the line of state with the horizontal level. This is known as angle of elevation. What is angle of depression? The angle of depression of a point on the object below horizontal level. View the line of state with the horizontal level. This is known as angle of depression. The angle of elevation and depression are usually measured by a device called kalinometer. Before starting the activity, let us discuss the material required for this activity. Adhesive, some colored sheets, straw, measuring tape, protector, scale, pencil, thread, some weight, a hollow pipe and sketch pens. Let's discuss how to make a kalinometer. I have made a kalinometer for you. I have made a semi-circular protector on a thick chart which shows angles from 0 to 180 degree. I have fixed a small hollow pipe along the diameter of that protector. You can see that is a hollow pipe. Now fix a nail at the center of a semicircle in such a way that protector can revolve around the nail. Protector can revolve around the nail. With the help of this thread, suspend a weight at the nail. By this arrangement, you can get your kalinometer. In this, you can see your object and measure the angle. If the angle is upward, then you can see the thread moves towards your side and if the angle is go downward to you have to see your object from the top to the bottom then the angle goes another side. Now let's find the height of this room with the help of this kalinometer. I am seeing the height of this room with the help of this kalinometer and the angle observed on this kalinometer is 
and the angle observed is 60 degree you can see now for the more clarity over this i am using an another kalinometer this kalinometer i have purchased from the market in which there is no hollow pipe there is an eye level indicator in which you have to see an object by placing this line on your eye level and you can check the angle of the height of an object in in this kilometer the angle 0 to 180 has been marked on the both side now let's check the same angle with the help of this kilometer now let's measure the angle of elevation of this room with this kilometer you have to place this kilometer there is an eye level you have to set this line on your eye level and check the height of this room with this kilometer and this red line represent the angle which is made by this kilometer and you can see that the height of this room makes an angle from my eye level is now you can see the angle made by this kilometer is 60 degree with the help of this red needle now we are going to find out the distance between the kilometer and the base of that wall for that what we have to do i am standing at the same position from where i have measured the angle i have to mark that point with this marker now i am going to mark where i am standing here i am standing i am standing with the kilometer and the base of the wall with the help of this measuring tape and the distance is and the distance is 150 now we have to find the height of the kilometer from the ground which is equivalent to my eye level so i have marked this point on the wall from this point i have to measure the point from i have to measure this distance till the ground now the height is 60 now let's discuss the observations the angle of elevation of the object that is called theta in our case the theta is 60 degree and the distance between the object and kilometer that is d which is 150 inches and if you convert 150 inches into the centimeter that is equal to 381 centimeter because 1 inch is equal to 2.5 centimeter and distance between the object and the kilometer is 381 centimeter now height of the kilometer above the ground which is represented by p in our case that is 60 inches if you convert the 60 inches into the centimeter it is 152 centimeter now in triangle pqc in triangle pqc tan theta tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon my base in our triangle the perpendicular is q to c and base is p to q if we have to find out the value of q to c q to c that is pq 
वी हैव टू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई पी क्यू मल्टीप्लाई बाय टेन थीटा इन अवर केस द थीटा इज सिक्सटी डिग्री वेन वी सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड डी इज एंड पी क्यू रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द डी एंड इन अवर कैलकुलेशन द डी इज थ्री एटी वन सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू थ्री एटी वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय द वैल्यू ऑफ टेन सिक्सटी इज रूट थ्री विच इज इक्वल एंड टू वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू एंड वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई बोथ ऑफ दैम देन यू विल गेट सिक्स सिक्सटी अप्रॉक्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द हाइट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस In our experiment, the height of the object is height of the wall. That is B to C. Where is B to C? It represent B, and that's the height of the kilometer. We have to calculate now B to C. Okay. For B to C, we have to add P. Plus d tan theta, where p is 152, and we already calculated d tan theta, where is tan is 60 degree, 660, and once you add 152 plus 160 centimeter, you will get 812 centimeter. i hope this activity is clear to you we have learned to determine the angle of elevation and height of an object through the kilometer thank you and have a nice day